So here is the complaint report. This here DOD OIG hotline. Submitting a complaint. What is the person's last name? What is the person's first name? What is the person's middle name? What is the person's job title? What state? What organization? What country? What is their contact information? Email address? What is their email address? Is that person aware you are submitting this complaint? Is this a complaint against a person? If you wish to file a retaliation complaint, do not use this line. Identify the person that has committed alleged wrongdoing. Ask its na last name, first name, middle name, and job title. Employee type, agency, grade, rank, address, zip code, email address, telephone number. Person number two, DOD branch. If the person you identified is identified, type your complaint here. We can process your complaint and provide a summary of your complaint, including a chronology when appropriate. Be as specific as possible. Explain the situation, incident date, and who the name is and what he did, what he did wrong doing complaint. What did the incident of alleged wrongdoing do to you, do to me? What date? Does the complaint involve a employee DOD contract? Yes, if you provide the following information, description, type of contract, contract number, subcontract. What did the incident alleged wrongdoing take place? You must provide address, city, state, and service complaint. Identify the key witnesses. Witness one, two, what law, rule, regulation, or standard do you believe was violated? Briefly summarize how our office can assist you regarding this matter. The other actions you are taking. If you have filed with any other office, inspector, jail office, a member of Congress, you have received any response. This office provide with copy. Have you forwarded the matter to any other agency? Yes. So the standard violation is false police report, false arrest, false detainment. False accusation is a misdemeanor charge. Will lead to civil harassment restraining order. I certify that all of my statements, complaints are true, complete, and correct. To the best of my knowledge, I understand the false statement of concealment a material fact. It is a criminal offense. I have provided my election concerning my filing status. In this part, release identify non-release. I did provide my release ex election. I understand that this will cause a delay in the processing of my complaint. I understand that I have elected confidential anonymous status and my impact ability of the DOD hotline either conduct an inquiry. I warranted and appropriately address my issue. I understand that I elect anonymity without providing any contact information. I will be able to request confirmation receipt advisement to open a closed status. I understand that the director of the DOD hotline determines the allegation. My complaint cannot be investigated without disclosing my identity and I need to know basis in this organization. Also, the DOD hotline. My lack of permission to release my identity may prevent further action from being taken on my complaint. I further understand that even if I elect the confidential status, my identity may be disclosed if I require applicable legal authority of the director hotline determines disclosure is unavoidable. So you can file here the ODID. You can file here. So I need his name, job title, date of work. So I need to fix that. This mail is form is Supporting documentation to the Pentagon, Washington, D.C. Make sure you print copy submitted to PPK records. Or you may submit a 
uh, fax 7036048567. So do fill this out in seconds. D O D I G. So yeah, so that's how I'm gonna file my complaint. Starting right now.